Hey guys, thank you for watching another Gadget White production. Now, uh, in this video, we're going to address the issue of the whole iPhone bending uh, situation. There's been a lot of hype and news going around about these phones bending easily and uh, everyone's really making a big issue out of it. And uh, me personally, I use one of these phones as my daily driver and uh, I really... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty rough with it. And the phone takes a beating pretty darn well. It doesn't, it doesn't ha show any signs of distress. It doesn't show any signs of bending. And um, I wanna demonstrate that in this video today. I want you guys to see for yourself that this is actually, you know, a very durable phone. And it, it, it's, you know, the, all that stuff you're hearing is hype. It's not actually fact. So here I have a 128 gig gold iPhone 6 Plus the actual device in question, it's a 6 Plus. So let's just run it against a few tests, okay? So for instance, uh, my, my pants are not very tight, but they're somewhat tight. So let's do the back pocket test, okay? So I'm putting my back pocket, I have a hard surface here. Let's go ahead and just sit on it, okay? Now I'm about 180, 190 pounds, I'm even leaning towards it. I'm completely lean, leaning on it, putting all my weight on it, okay? This is all my weight is on this on this phone right now. So it's kind of even intentional, okay? So I'm tr I'm almost trying to bend the phone, okay? Let's see what happens here. Okay. Let's bring it up. So it says test number 1. Let's look. Nothing, okay? So we have nothing there. There's completely not a dent, not a ding, not a bend, okay? That's, that's, that's one test. Let's do another test. Let's do, let's do, let's do in the side pocket here. And then let's have it where we, we sit down and let's just apply pressure to this. And, and I'm trying to like, you know, demonstrate real world scenarios where I mean, you could take the device and snap it in half, anything will break, but these are real world scenarios. You're wearing tight pants and they could, you know, be put under pressure like this and the claim is that it's gonna bend, but here I'm doing it as much as I could. So let's, let's see this as well. So nothing, nothing, nothing at all. And believe me, I'm very picky but it's not showing any signs of anything. No distress, no bending, no nothing. All right, let's 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 try something else. Let's put it with another phone. So you have two phones, okay? And let's stuff two phones in our pocket. And let's sit on it now, okay? Now, I, I just put it in there with an LG G Flex, which is a curved phone, so it's a curved phone. It's, it's sitting at a weird angle, so, you know, if anything should cause a bend, this should cause a bend, let's see. It's a two phone scenario. Let's see if what happens here. And again, that's 180 pounds being pushed on it. Full weight, hard plastic surface. Let's see what happens here. That's, a, that's the LG G Flex. All right. Nothing, guys. Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Absolutely amazing. Now, what else can I do? I mean, it's kind of a curved surface here, so I'm putting pressure on it to bend. So it's, it's kind of at a bend, okay? So I'm putting a lot of pressure on it, okay? See, see the curve? I mean, this should, this should bend it, correct? According to the rumors. <laughs> All right, let's see. Nothing, nothing. Hilarious, I mean, guys, come on. It's it's obviously just you know it's it, it's a it's it's a political witch hunt against Apple personally that's what I think because here it is I mean I'm per I'm showing you guys this is real life now another thing that I noticed is the phone takes a beating pretty well like in your pocket with keys okay now this should just scratch your phone and damage it but surprisingly it leaves little. It doesn't scratch. It leaves little scuffs, but they just immediately rub off. And that's something that I noticed that was really interesting is 
it doesn't scratch easily. It's actually very hard to scratch the device. So in an everyday situation, you have your phone in your pocket, you have your keys, and you would think, oh, you know, it's gonna bend, it's gonna scratch. For the most part, not for the most part, I mean, just as it is, it's, 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 it's so durable. I mean, believe it or not, the iPhone 5S didn't do this well. It did not uh, stand up to, you know, uh, scratch protection and so on, as well as this phone is doing. It's truly amazing. It really is. And I'm intentionally, you know, trying to cause some damage to this phone. So let's take a look. So screen, keys. Look, guys, nothing. Look, not a single scratch. It's all just little scuffs that are rubbing away. Nothing. There is there is no permanent scratch anywhere, which is truly amazing. 5S didn't perform like this. Neither did the 4S. Neither did the, the, the 3GS. Neither did the 2G. I mean, I got to tell you, I can't believe this phone is taking so much heat for nothing. It's so far been one of the best performing phones. And that's no kidding. I mean... I'm showing you guys right here live on camera. So, I mean, what else, what, what other type of uh, configuration could I put this under? Now, typically how I carry my phone is I put it on a holster such as this and I carry it on my side pocket. So that's the way I carry it. But if any of you are thinking of buying one and putting it in your side or back pocket, believe me, you're not gonna have a problem. I can assure you that 1000%. Because if there was a pro there were to be a problem, it would be evident now. It would show up now. This device would bend. So let's try to put a little pressure, but not, you know, potentially breaking it. I mean, the obvious, you know. Let's do it. Let's try to do something. I'm gonna I'm gonna put enough, but not enough to break the glass. Because I know I could break the glass if I wanted to, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to exert a little pressure and see if this sting reacts to it now let me tell you the way this feels I don't feel anything I don't feel any flexing any nudging anything of that nature nothing like that the phone is rock solid I mean um, geez and I'm intentionally trying to bend it and I'm even targeting its weak point, which is the volume button. This is apparently where the problem sits, is in this area. They're apparently saying there's a weak spot there. So I'm really trying to bend it there. And I'm exerting a lot of pressure. So, okay, now nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Not even a singular bend. I mean, let's put it on a flat surface here. It's, it's laying completely flat, nothing, not, not a hitch. The phone is, I mean, look, I mean, it's common sense. I can, I can just hit, do this hard enough for it to break, but you know, common sense would tell you to not do that. But the phone itself, I mean, the little torture test that I just gave it, it's holding up extremely well, extremely well. And doesn't scratch, doesn't ding, I mean, and not only does it not bend, it's extremely durable. So, I mean, that's, this is real world, guys. It's not picking up a phone and snapping it. This is real world, real world situations. You pick up a phone, you get home, you throw it on the table, you know? You have it with your keys, like how I demonstrated. These are things that happen every single day. And believe me, I think this phone is gonna turn out to be one of the most durable phones that Apple has made. And it's clearly being demonstrated in this test here. So, you know, I, I don't know what else to throw at it, but I mean, there you have it, guys. I mean, it's, it's extremely well, believe me. Believe me, I'm really surprised on how durable this is, especially the fact that it's not producing scratches. It's not producing scuffs. Previously, on, in, in the previous iterations of the iPhone, your Apple logo would have been completely scratched. It would have had little minor scuffs on the glossy areas of the device. This is holding up like a champion and the phone still looks brand spanking new. So, I mean, so a little rough surface there. 
just everything, I don't know, it rubs off. Everything just rubs off, it doesn't create permanent lines. So that's very impressive. And yeah, there you have it guys. That's a 128 gigabyte iPhone 6 Plus. The one with all the rumors of it bending. It's as hard as a rock. I definitely suggest if you guys are into phablets, even if you're not, once you get this device in your hands, you guys will love it. It's a killer device, it does not bend. That is an absolute false statement. It does not bend, I can't get it to bend. I'm trying, without breaking the glass. I'm mean, just common sense, it's not breaking. Um, I have an LG G Flex here. This is, uh, as a matter of fact, exactly the same size as the iPhone 6 Plus, identical in size, okay? Now, this phone is a just a plastic phone, but look, I mean, obviously plastic bends, right? But you know, everything to some extent is gonna bend. Even this device, if I go ahead and I pull hard enough on it, it's gonna snap and it's gonna break. That's just common sense. The back, however, being cheap plastic, it's 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 a to cast to cast. Everything's gonna just go back together. Here you have a premium device. It's holding up, it's not bending, it's not showing any signs of, you know, uh, damage, distress or anything. And it's a, a very high quality unit. So guys, have confidence in the device that you buy, have confidence in Apple. And um, I, I can't prove this to be a factual problem. It really is not. I mean, there is nothing here. There is not a single problem on I'm carefully looking at this and let me bring it up to the camera just a little more look guys nothing there's nothing wrong with this phone so there you have it I mean that's a solid phone so guys prove this rumor wrong try it yourself this is not real. There is no such thing as bend gate or whatever they're calling it. It doesn't exist. The phone is the most solid iPhone ever built. Uh, other ones wouldn't perform this well. And um, it's, it's a total fail that this rumor is a false rumor. It doesn't exist. I mean, there's just no way this would bend in a real life situation. So guys, I did this so you guys would have a better understanding. And uh, please rate this video and visit www.gadgetwide.com for more information about this and uh, other Apple information as well. And please rate this video, guys, and thank you for watching.